Hello, I'm Ikje from KAIST. I'm really happy to present our work, a logo structured merge tree aware message authentication scheme for persistent key value store. This work is done when I was undergrad student in UNIST with Chunghyun, Minu, Hyungun, and Sam. Let me start with our motivation. Many web services like Netflix, Facebook, and Uber runs on a cloud platform. And these services use persistent key value store to serve data efficiently. <coughs> However, the service owner must trust, <coughs> must trust the cloud provider to run a service on clouds. The cloud provider can technically read or modify the key value pair, though they may not, may not do so due to legal reason. The cloud provider has control of <coughs> system softwares and application running along with the key value store, and they can technically be designed to make malicious read and write. An attacker could even use a specially crafted memory device to modify memory contents in one extreme. <coughs> Hardware-based computation computing, representatively the one provided by Intel SGX, enables the service owner to protect their program and data from this threat. In particular, <coughs> hardware-based confidential computing mechanism provides three security properties. First is confidentiality guarantee, where only authorized program can read the data. Second is integrity, where only authorized program can modify data. The special case of integrity is freshness, where <coughs> Unauthorized, unauthorized program, an attacker, cannot replay all the data to fool the victim. <coughs> Our work efficiently uses hardware-based confidential computing to protect SM3, SM3-based key value store. An earlier work presented in this conference three years ago, Spicer, have already proposed using SGX to protect persistent key value store. They identified and addressed three challenges. First, the capacity of protected memory region is limited. Intel SGX only provides 128 megabyte to 256 megabyte of protected memory region, called the EPC. If an application is more, SGX uses unprotected memory as a backup with cryptographic protection, which accompany expensive memory paging. Spicer uses Spicer used modified mem table to reduce protected memory needed. Second, data <coughs> second data stored in LSM tree are not protected by interest checks and require manual cryptographic protection. Spicer used the Merkle tree of authentication scheme to authenticate data on each LSM tree. Third, the hardware counter that Spicer needs does not increment frequently enough. Spicer used hardware-based monotonic trust counter to bring the freshness guarantee. But the counter increments only once every 60 milliseconds by design. This is problematic because Spicer needs new count value for every log entry. To overcome this, Spicer wrapped this hardware counter with its own asynchronous monotonic counter. These are all essential design, and we adopted one of these, split mem table. However, we found that there are more room for performance improvement by leveraging the characteristic of LSM tree. On top of this, we designed Twizzle, which eliminates the challenges with the LSM tree aware authentication scheme. We found that we are able to <coughs> avoid using expensive buckle tree when authenticating on LSM tree by using a fresh and unique authentication key for each SS table. This Merkle tree authentication scheme allows us to authenticate key value pairs separately, further reducing the additional latency from cryptographic operation when reading a single key value pair. Furthermore, we eliminate the problem of slow hardware counter more elegantly by using hash chain. Please refer our paper to more detail about how we use this test chain. Before introducing our scheme, let me describe 
the authentication scheme using the Merkle tree. One way of providing integrity of data is using message authentication code. Message authentication code is a cryptographic checksum that can securely detect unauthorized data modification. An attacker cannot modify such data because they cannot forge matching Mac without knowing the authentication key. When authenticating extensive data like LSM tree with Mac, it is common to use Merkle tree. <coughs> Spicer used this to authenticating its LSM tree, considering each access table as a leaf. Merkle tree is built with hashes originating from each access table, and the root hash is kept in the protected memory region. When reading on access table, Spicer has to authenticate it by computing the root hash and <coughs> root hash again from the Mac and compare it with the collect root hash in the protected memory. As a result, it must compute Macs from <coughs> more data than it reads, increasing the overhead of, overhead of computing cryptographic, cryptographic authentication. A possible optimization to this is store the hashes of block in protected memory. But this design wastes invaluable protected memory reason. In this work, we propose to create a, a unique authentication key for each SS table and use the key for authentication. An SS table is immutable, so the unique key is used only once for authenticating one key value pair, making it impossible for an attacker to find the old pair to replay. The attacker cannot find the pair to replay from other SS table because different SS tables have different authentication key. Compared to Merkle tree based scheme, ours only require fewer Mac computation or less protected memory. Spicer creates one Mac from an entire data block, resulting in decrypting and authenticating entire data block even to obtain single key value pair. Unlike this, Spicer restructure a data block to have key subblock and value subblock. Key subblock contains all key in the same order as original LuxDB. And value subblock is composed of corresponding values and Mac of, of key value pair. This design reduced, uh, helped reduce cryptographic cost significantly when reading a single key value pair from an SS table by reducing the amount of data being authenticated from entire data block to single key value pair. For example, when we read one key value pair with 16 bytes of key and one kilobyte of value with 32 kilobytes of data block, Spicer, <coughs> Spicer has to authenticate and decrypt 32 kilobytes. On the contrary, Twitter authenticate one kilobyte and decrypt 1.5 kilobyte thanks to the fine-grained authentication. Note that this helped only with our earlier design decision per SS table authentication key. If we use Merkle tree for authentication, like Spicer, fine-grained authentication will increase the number of leaf nodes in Merkle tree, making Merkle tree deeper and increasing the, the amount of data being authenticated. We evaluated Twitter on a machine with SGX supported Xeon processor, which provides 256 megabytes of protected memory. We also reproduced the earlier work, Spicer, for a comparison study because it is not open sourced. Like Spicer, we applied our scheme to RocksDB and used a company benchmark, dbbench, for performance measurement. <coughs> this graph shows that Twitter outperforms Spicer on random read write workloads. The y axis is slowdown of Twitter and Spicer compared to a modified RocksDB running without SGX. So the lower is better. As the graph show, Twitter outperforms Spicer regardless of block size up to six times. Spicer suffers from expensive cryptographic cost caused by its fine -grain, uh, coarse grained authentication and Merkle tree, while Twitter serves keyboard lookup efficiently with full SS table authentication key and fine-grained authentication. Twitter used less protected memory than Spicer. To build a Merkle tree, 
Speicher stored the max from an SS table in its footer. This is part of per SS table data that RocksDB caches by default per performance in its table cache. The figure on the left shows the table cache size of Speicher and Twizzle, normalized to that of the unmodified RocksDB. The result shows that Speicher's table cache is much bigger than that of unmodified RocksDB and Twizzle. This increase in table cache size affects the performance negatively because the paging between protected memory and unprotected memory become frequent. The figure right shows the number of this paging that we measured. As expected, Spicer experienced more paging than the uh, Spicer experienced more paging than Twizzle. In summary, Twizzle used the protected memory more efficiently. Our authentication scheme has some drawbacks in range query performance and storage usage. On the left is the performance of Spicer and Twizzle when handling range query. Twizzle still show better performance than Spicer when handling short query, but it become worse for long ones. Our fine-grained authentication is optimized for point lookup. When it ends up reading an entire block, the cryptographic code for Spicer and Twizzle become similar, because Twizzle also has to authenticate and decrypt the entire block. The second is storage blowup. Unlike Spicer, Twizzle encrypts each key value pair individually. This must be done before compression because it cannot distinguish individual pair after compression. As a result, Twizzle must compress after, after encryption, which diminishes the effectiveness of compression due to its increased data entry, ent entropy. <coughs> In summary, Twizzle's range query performance Twizzle range query performance is problematic, and we, we need further optimization, such as caching decrypted key block in its protected memory. And fine-grained authentication increases the right, right application of Twizzle. To conclude, we divide an authentication scheme adapted for LSM3. The immutable and salty nature of a SES table enables Twizzle to avoid using Merkle tree spanning to entire LSM tree by using per SST table authentication key. This design opened another opportunity for fine-grained authentication that further reduced the cryptography cost. So we, we did not go into detail. We also showed that Twizzle could protect the logs without the limited hardware counter. Thank you for listening, and I, I will take the question from now.